I want to tell you a story. A story about this boy. This boy that is obsessed with geckos. And he grew into a man. He is a Max the Grot. The story involves a net. Yes, that's right. A net. I'm going to catch some flies. Why do I catch some flies? Well, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. So this is a little blowfly. And this blowfly is a very important part of this story. And I'm going to show you why right now. This is Buster. Buster is a northern green gecko of New Zealand. Buster is hungry and Buster loves flies. Look at him, the little kitty pie, the little rascal. He loves a blowfly. Look at that blue mouth. Absolutely epic, endemic to New Zealand. Now look at this fucking magnificent animal. Look at that. That is a forest gecko right after some dew. Look at that. So what I'm doing here is I'm replicating rainfall for these native geckos that live outside. Because these geckos are thirsty and they need to hydrate themselves. Look at that tongue. He is slurping and he is derping. This is the New Zealand forest gecko. And I miss these guys two or three times a day, depending on the weather. Now, they need this because A, that's how they get their drinking water. And I try and replicate their natural environment as best as I can. These green geckos, they are heliothermic. What does that mean? They love to bask. They love to be out in the sun. But sometimes they do weird shit, like this. You see the arboreal, meaning they like to be up high? I don't know what Godzilla was up to. He was also doing some Velociraptor Jurassic Park shit, like stalking me in the weeds. Anyway, nonetheless, this is a beautiful forest gecko. Once again, nocturnal, out in the sun. They love the sun, they need to bask their reptiles at the end of the day. So they regulate their body temperature by the temperature outside. And they get that from the sun. There's a reason why these guys are protected and they need to be protected because they're stunning. And one of the reasons they need to be protected is because of this. Hey there little guy. This little cutie patootie, the European Hedgehog. I mean, he's not the only pest, but he's one of them. Look at this little rascal. It's hedgehog season, man. You see this? This is the New Zealand green gecko, the Northland green gecko. And he's out, it's warm, it's a nice sunny day. I'm Max the Grot, this is why I got into the hobby, this lizard here. This gecko is the reason I'm so obsessed with these animals to this day. It's been many, many years. The most beautiful animals in the world. You see, I need a permit to keep these guys, and it's incredibly complex. I have to, like, do record keeping. So this is me looking like an absolute idiot, looking at the track records being like, oh, what the hell am I feeding them today? Uh, blowflies. Ugh, right. So like the good reptile keeper that I am, I got some hand caught free range flies. And this is Buster once again, eating a hoverfly. He is an absolute rascal. He's a voracious gecko. And I just, look, I have to show you guys the beauty of the New Zealand gecko, the specimen, one of them with hundreds of other species. But look at that, the blue mouth itself. Now he's gonna divulge and he's gonna enjoy this hoverfly. And I want you guys to think about how epic and stunning these geckos really are. I'm Max the Grot, and I've been obsessed with these geckos all my life. And this is the reason I got into the hobby. This is the reason I'm obsessed. And even Frederick the tree frog, the tiny tree frog, gets one of the caught blowflies. Ah, the elusive Ruakaba gecko. Just kidding. But you know what? They are hard to see during the day because they are strictly nocturnal. So you know what I do? I'll wait. I'll play the long game. I'll go out there, I'll get my chair out, and the sun's setting. And I'll sit there, and I'll sit there, and I'll wait, and I'll wait. And you know what? It's all worth it, because I'll get this. I'll get the snapshot after hours. I'll get the forest gecko eating the fruit puree. I'll get them in their natural behavior and environment. I'll get the green gecko, the cathemeral species, out and about at night, exploring, enjoying some moisture, and getting a drink of water. So I'll leave you with this. If you don't like New Zealand geckos by now, then I don't know what else to do. Stay tuned.